Alright guys, something uh, a little bit different for the channel. I um, haven't done a hiking vid in a very long time actually. Very long time. Um, it's probably been the first um, video of not brewing actually. Anyway, that's for that sign. I'm going to head up uh, Mount Blaine today. A lot of cars here today. You uh, you can't see it. But, yeah, the car park's down there. There's um, Linders Peak. It's up there. So, I've just started the timer the hike up obviously won't show you every second of the hike but uh, I'll bring you along the way that's for sure all right well I'll try and catch my breath just gone 10 minutes there's the view of uh yeah let me get in here <clears throat> from this peak such an impressive form of rock so yeah just over 10 minutes in uh not quite 600 meters but uh yeah cheeky way to start And uh, don't look now, that's where we're going. I'm sure you did have a look too, by the way. Um, yeah, as I said before, amazing day for a hike. It's like 21, 22 degrees. Um, yeah, perfect. This is my uh, stand-up paddleboarding hat too. I uh, had every intention to go for a paddle this morning with the guys. Bruce Sup crew. But um, well, by the time I got to the garage this morning, I was just uh, in too much of a rush. And if I was to try and prepare to go for a paddle, I was certain that uh, I was going to lose something. Um, I was going to leave something behind, so I just went and for a quick visit down there. Uh, yeah, just come down from that direction. Um, have been walking a little bit slower, so yeah, 28 minutes. Uh, 29 now, 1.43 k's. Uh, that sign there will lead you to Mount Gilman. Um, but this is the direction we want to go, down towards the Mount Blaine Saddle. So, uh, yeah, relatively straightforward so far. Nothing uh, too strenuous. But um, just, uh, you might not be able to see. Um, Flinders peek through the trees there, but oh, here's a nice vantage point right here. Terrific. Man, what a day. All right. So they're suggesting uh, an hour and 30 minutes, but uh, yeah, so we're going to be going from here to here, rather than going back that way, I'll come back along, what's that, Skyline Ridge Track. So. 
Mount Blaine Summit Trail, green, then Skyline Ridge Track, maroon. Then I'll uh, connect back up to the Sandy Creek Track, which is um, also the fire trail. So yeah, hour and 30, uh, as you can tell, got some good things to look forward to. Uh, yeah, all right, well, enough mucking around, let's get into it. Okay, well, as you can see by the landscape, it's uh, just come from in there, pretty much from the base of, this, of the uh, hike. Oh geez, we'd be only less than 200 meters in, but you're greeted by this. It's a little bit loose, but uh, you know, you can see where the where the path is. Um, yeah, but just looks a bit uh, looks a bit unusual actually. Anyway, small mountains in the uh, in the background there. All right, well, uh, keep keep on moving on up. I mean, it's relatively easy walking. You always got to be mindful of, uh, you know, loose rocks. I don't know how far from the summit. I am. Have a look at these views. There's a little bit of a heat haze in the background. You can probably only just make out the silhouette of the, uh, I dare say that's the Great Dividing Range. Uh, but man, look at these contours. Look at these uh, ridge lines, just love it, absolutely love it. Outdoors, just can't get enough of them, man, seriously. I mean, what's not to like? Preview fitness, man, just nature, putting on another show. This is only the second time I've climbed this. Um, Drew a lot of inspiration from another YouTuber, uh, Gel Builder. Mate, I've got to tell you, even though you're an absolute trooper on the trails, your videos are very entertaining, mate. Very creative um, YouTuber. So. I'll put a link to his video below and uh, yeah go and enjoy some of his vids because he gets around a lot more than I do so yes but gel you've de definitely uh, influenced me to uh, do this hike mate so thank you very much all right, bit of rock scrambling now. Might uh, turn the camera off and uh, see you the next bit. It's a bit, uh, um, it's been blocked at the moment. There's Flinders Peak. I have to do my research, but. Um, That might be Mount Gilman. Maybe. Don't quote me. Because I just don't know. Now what a ridge line. Anyway, pretty sure we're close to the top here. Let's have a look. I mean if you're not a fan of um 
rock scrambling this one is probably not for you but there's a lot of rock scrambling to get to the top so 56 minutes 2.01 case I beg your pardon, that's probably Mount Gilman there. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. There it is. <clears throat> oh. Slowly out of breath. I'm doing alright. Alright. <clears throat> that was less than an hour from the car park. 2.06 Ks. Uh, yeah, that's that's cool, that's good. Um, don't know what time I, I did last time, but like I'm never in a hurry <clears throat> with these things because you know, should never be in a hurry. But um, I'm happy with that under an hour, that's good. So, we just came from the left of the picture, and uh, I'm fairly certain that it either starts down that way or starts down here somewhere. So we won't be going the same way back. And uh, what a day, what a hike, what a life. A couple of hashtags there. Um, yeah, so before I do descend, I'll just uh, spend a couple more minutes up here. Um, yeah, and I just noticed something here before too something that I was not expecting so we um what's going on there? not sure I put that there anyway um yeah alright well uh let's start the descent might even be down there you know anyway I'll find it eventually alright See you on the way down. Alright, I don't know if you can hear, but there's uh, plenty of bees around. I hope they're bees. <clears throat> Alright. So I didn't have a bite to eat, I just uh, <clears throat> had a drink of water. But essentially, this is the way on the other side. Um, pretty sure Wild Donkey um, put a video up in Mount Blaine. Um, and I suggested to him, because I think he went back um, down the same way that he came up on the other side. So, um, yeah. I mean, I when I hiked this um, a little while back, I just saw that there was, um, you know, a worn path in the other, on the other side. So I just thought that was the natural way to go back down. But anyway, um, I don't know how much of this I'll be filming because um, I know it does get a little bit gnarly in some spots. So just come from that direction there um, it is quite overgrown so uh, yeah essentially top of the mountain is the, the left there if you just keep traversing right you'll come across um, this lovely stuff lantana so 
I'm going to turn the camera off now and um, keep my way, making my way down. I didn't bring my uh, machete, so all my gloves. So uh, yeah, this could be uh, a little bit more fun than expected. All right, let's keep going. Okay, you can't sit where you can see the flowers. Um, that's the route I've just come through. Lovely uh, lantana. Needs a burn over here, it really does. Just try burn that is. So uh, yeah, all right, well, pretty sure the trail just keeps going uh, left, even though it doesn't look like it from here, or by the footage. Um, yeah, but uh, once we get on the ground, it's, um, it's all clear sailing from here. So from memory, most of the hard stuff we've already tackled. So um, yeah, it should be pretty cash for now. Flame, famous last words. All right, <clears throat> well, I think I'm about three quarters of the way down and um, I'm not going to lie, um, this way sucks. As you can see, there's no... I've essentially come through that part there. Um, I know you can't tell that, but you've got scratches and heaps of uh, scratches and stuff on my arm. I thought the trail might have been a little bit uh, easier to follow but um, anyway what's a, what's a hike without a bit of uh, adventure <clears throat> right, this is well worn this, this section so I think it's um, pretty much choose your own adventure from that side of the mountain until you get to this part so I knew I was getting in the right direction Okay, well I found these rocks and uh, well I did tell you they're on flooded ground they actually are probably on the same gradient as the uh, rocks <coughs> on the other side of the river now uh, I can't really see any path out that way pretty sure it heads out here and uh, there's a big old tree to the left hand side of, from memory uh, here's that large um, tree on the left hand side of the path out that I was talking about pretty sure this is a white fig or a ficus virens um, yeah it's absolutely dominating even in uh, poor conditions like this give them a bit of soil and uh, yeah they'll just grow no matter what so yeah bit of a majestic tree there all right um, all right, oh yeah, I think I can see the path there. All right, so I'll keep going down. Okay. Oh, there's that sign there. There's that sign there. All right. Here's the sign I'm looking for. It's actually uh, more of um, just a bit of an information sign about the igneous rocks of Mount Blaine. So. Anyway, here's the path out of here. I'll uh, reconnect with you shortly. Okay, so from memory, I um, this is obviously coming out of the uh, fire trail. I think it's called Sandy Creek Trail, I think. They're down <coughs> this way. Yeah, from memory, I, I uh, distinctly recall a meandering trail. Here we go. So it was close. 
I just don't think um, it gets walked all that often. So, I mean, you know, gee whiz, those two posts weren't there. You'd walk straight past that. So, <clears throat> you know, probably only come not even 100 metres past that. So that's not too bad. But uh, yeah, definitely a slower, um, slower paced hike um, down. Uh, obviously the path wasn't that clear on the, uh, what would this be? The southern side of Mount Blaine. Um, or is that eastern? Whatever side it is. Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, that's pretty much, yeah, the hike. Um, nothing more terribly exciting from here apart from me walking along a path that looks like this. So I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, yeah, all right, well, I hope you're all well. Um, take it easy, and um, I'll see you on the next hiking vid. All right, catch you later. Cheers. Oh, and I better say it. See you around like a wheel.